related abstract on patient reported quality of life outcomes from the same trial. Lead author, Dr. Julie Lemieux, a researcher at the Center um, of Hospital University of Quebec in Canada, will present the study. Dr. Lemieux. Thank you. I'm glad to present you today the patient reported outcome result from ME17R. This was a Canadian-led trial conducted in collaboration with American Cooperative Group. As we have just learned from Dr. Goss, this was a trial of continuing aromatase inhibitor for a total of 10 years versus stopping it after the first five years. Letrozole that was used in ME17R is an aromatase inhibitor. These drugs decrease to a very low level estrogen in menopause women. This estrogen deprivation can lead to side effects such as arthralgia, hot flashes, or sexual symptoms like vaginal dryness. Patient reported outcomes are directly reported by the patient. Here, we ask women to complete questionnaires at baseline and every year up to five years. The questionnaires that were used were the SF36 Health Survey Questionnaire. In this questionnaire, there are two summary scores looking at global quality of life and eight subscales. For the menopause-specific quality of life, we use the MenQual Questionnaire. A change of five points for the SF36 and 0.5 points for the MenQual Questionnaire are considered clinically important. We report the result for the whole five years. Here are the results. We see that for the SF36 two summary scale questionnaire, the physical component summary score and the mental component summary score, there was no difference between letrozole and placebo arm in terms of quality of life. In the other eight subscale, there was only one difference in a subscale called the role function physical looking at limitation or difficulty in accomplishing work or regular activities due to physical health. In this subscale, there was an average of 3.2 more deterioration in the letrozole arm compared to the placebo arm. This difference was statistically significant, but it was below five, which is the minimum difference for clinical importance. For the menopause specific quality of life questionnaire, there was no difference between the letrozole and the placebo arm in any of the four domains measured in this questionnaire, which are vasomotor, psychosocial, physical, and sexual. The limitation of this analysis was that it was a highly selected population. All these women have already tolerated five years of an aromatase inhibitor and about 70% have received about five years of tamoxifen before. Also, they were clinical trials participant. In summary, in women who already tolerated five years of an aromatase inhibitor, extending letrozole did not worsen their global or menopause specific quality of life compared to placebo. Only a small difference was found in the role function physical subscale but this difference is very small and unlikely to be significant for women. It is very reassuring for those women who want a longer duration of adjuvant endocrine therapy that they can expect a preserved quality of life. I would like to thank the patient who took the time to complete the questionnaire because it's gonna be helpful for future patients. Also, all the cooperative groups who participated in the trial and Novartis for funding, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lemieux. I, I think it's really important that we um, consider, of course, doing, doing uh, quality of life or patient reported outcomes uh, with all of these types of studies. Very important that we um, consider what, what the patient's going through, making sure that they can tolerate uh, these additional treatments. Even if there's a small benefit, we want to make sure that there's not excess toxicity.